This is what we mean when we say America is still a white supremacist country. Very much so, okay? This is what this is. My friend and their family are sticking it out in their home of Dnipro. Uh, I continue to tell her that my family will house them here in the U.S. Dude, why? I don't, I don't know what to say about that. They should get, they should get out. See, Ukraine is literally winning right now. Russia literally have all the advances stalled and got pushed back into Kherson. What a dub, dude. What a fucking military dub that is. Yeah, Mariupol doesn't exist anymore. You want to know why? Because Russia fucking shelled it into oblivion. But you're like, you're over here like, oh, dude, it's like, it's actually a fucking huge dub, dude. You don't understand, dude. Let me explain it to you, dude. It's like, okay, explain it to me, dude. Go ahead, please. This is what I mean, by the way, when I talk about uh the the uh the the effects that uh you know confidence boosting morale boosting propaganda sometimes has like in this circumstance okay this is the san isidro port of entry it's the crossing on the u.s mexico border between tijuana and san diego at the end of this line, which is the pedestrian line to get into the United States, there's a group of refugees from Ukraine and, strangely enough, a group of refugees from Russia as well. This is probably one of very few places in the world, if not the only place in the world. I believe that Russia will end its existence in 2022 and disintegrate into many Republicans. I myself am a Russian-speaking Ukrainian who's fighting for the life of my wife and mother. I don't want Putin's imperial manners to kill my family. Glory to Ukraine. Bro, get out, dude. Get out. You have a shot if you have an opportunity to be able to get out you're a twitch streamer you might be able to trust me it's not worth dude you do not want to fucking die banking on like the the dissolvement of of russia in 2022 is not a good way to go about it you think like that's gonna happen like it's going to be violent it's gonna be bloody it's gonna be deadly Yes, you know. Hassan knows everything. He knows the fronts and the battalions and everything. Cope. Fight. Don't listen to Hassan. Fuck Hassan. Fight the imperialists. Dude, you are a disgusting fucking piece of shit, you morally bankrupt son of a bitch, dude. Yeah, it's easy for you to fucking say that, you fucking absolute troglodyte, dude. There's, there's motherfuckers actually dying out there, and you're sitting with your dick in your fucking hand in Ohio, horny as fuck, for some idolization of... of uh, of this honorable war that you're fighting. What the fuck is wrong with you? Imagine telling, dude, I hope we can swap him out with you, you fucking motherfucker. Oh my God. I think he's in no way. No, he is serious. I think that's a fucking weirdo anarchist psycho who literally uh, fantasizes about like being a Zapatista or some shit. Your brain is fucking poison, dude. It's so fucked up. You are telling people to give up? Fuck you. I'm telling people not to fucking die. That's insanity. That is like absolute insanity. Just like you're literally telling people to just die. Like on your own. You're like, hey man, fucking die. It's sick. Yikes, dude. That's American brain rot right there, dude. It's wonderful. Come on, bro. Just fucking die. Die for maybe the hopes that like we can finally fucking uh, uh, cripple ru the Russian economy enough for instability. Uh, that that will cause uh, Vladimir Putin to fucking somehow, I guess, go away. Absolute dickhead, dude. Imagine fucking talking like this when people are literally gonna fucking die. I despise you. You are despicable. Take a look at your fucking self. It's so fucking nasty that, like, people have... I mean, that guy is perfect, okay? What he's saying is perfect. Proletarian Eric, the dude I just banned. Oh, shut the fuck up. Like, you're telling someone to surrender. What kind of fucking military experience does that dude have, dude? What are you fucking stupid? YouTuber war edits with VHS effects have rotted the brains of so many Zoomers. Guys, I have no choice. My parents do not have the ability and desire to leave the city. I will be in a territorial defense until the end. We won't win. It's not a question of heroism, but the life of my relatives and wife. Dude, get at least your parents should be able to leave. Jesus, fuck. This is what I mean. This is what I mean. You think this is okay? And by the way, Russia did this. So for the record, make no mistake. I don't think that that's like a... It, it, it's you know there are some people who are confused by that it's so easy it is so fucking easy for someone to have this take when they do not live in any sort of active conflict zone even turkey which has historically been an imperial power has a closer proximity to actual fucking violence than americans do 
Okay, so you will never understand living in the United States of America. You will never understand what it's like for genuine fear of even fucking terrorism. Okay, you just don't know. You will never understand it. It happened one time in your fucking life on 9-11 in our lifespan. And we we ripped the world on fire, dude. We destroyed everything. We spent eight trillion fucking dollars. You don't get it. You will never get it. You will never get it. And you don't even give a fuck. All you know is LARPing as a revolutionary from Wyoming, dude. Wild that we're like, literally, he's like telling a, a, a Ukrainian to go fucking die, dude. It's insane. Like, come on, go fucking die. It, it's cool. It's chill. I'm sure if he had the option, look, I'm, I'm already looking into it. If there's any way that I can like fucking evacuate people, like I have friends uh, that have uh, like coworkers, people that they know, family members that are fucking stuck right now, old people that refuse to leave, some old people that can't leave, if they actually had that opportunity. There are so many people that would absolutely get the fuck out and come to America on a fucking heartbeat. When you tried to help my girlfriend and I, we found a few charities for disabled old people who need help during wartime. If we keep, and then here's the other dumbass. If we keep running away from evil, there will soon be no place to run to. If they were to attack Germany, I'd go fight as well. Respect the Ukrainian's choice to fight. You should, bro. No, nothing's stopping you, Shaq Long. Go fight in Ukraine now, then. Go ahead, brother. Why are you fucking fighting for... First of all, why are you fighting for Germany? I thought you were Kurdish. What's, what's going on? I'll kick Putin's ass, no worries. Why don't you, you fucking kick people in League of Legends, okay, first, without getting banned for being toxic? You guys are hopped up on fucking the, the good fifis of, like, uh, the, the ghost of Kiev and stories like that. Meanwhile, you're forgetting. Wild, because... You know, if given the opportunity, most of those people would fucking run away. They, they're forcibly being kept inside the country. I, I think it's wild. I think I'm being honest, you know? I'm being honest about how I would react, and I'm being honest about trying to fucking... Trying to save people. There are plenty of people who want to stay and fight, and that's fine. You know, I have no problem with that. But if it's a... But if there are fucking chatter in here, of course, like, run away, dude. This is the chatter... Yeah. This is the chatter recruiting people for Ukraine. Yeah, join the anarchist brigade, dude. Come on. It's sick. The only reason why that dude is still in Ukraine is because his family is still in Ukraine and because they won't let him leave. He admitted it. The fuck are you talking about? His mom and dad don't want to leave. It, suck. it fucking sucks, but there's like people who are just like, no, I'm not going to fucking leave. Where you're going to find war refugees from this conflict, from both sides of the conflict, cohabiting in the exact same situation as one another. Did you guys meet here? Two hours ago. <laughs> Two hours ago. Yes. Okay. And we also uh, feels like family now already. <laughs> Natalia Polyakova is 25. She fled Kyiv by herself. Katya Yarina is 38. She fled St. Petersburg with her husband and their children. We spoke. The other thing is like a lot of people, before we forget, a lot of people are also stuck. They can't leave. So what they're now doing is basically like moving into cabins you know what i mean in the forest if they have like if they know someone who has a fucking uh if they have like separate lodging in a faraway area so that they're away from the fucking cities and shit they literally don't have they can't do anything and they can't do anything because they can't fucking leave yeah i'll buy your plane ticket homie your war is nothing but horror and simply surviving is heroic even if that means evacuating yeah exactly straight up and by the way, this take I have is exactly the same with Afghanistan. It's exactly the same take that I've had in Syria. The sanctity of human life is significantly more important than fucking uh, the, the dying for some cause that, that some fucking oligarch decided uh, on your behalf. Always maintain the position that we should allow every single fucking refugee uh, that, that wanted to come in from Afghanistan. Same with Syria. And now with Ukraine. There are plenty of people who want to stay and fight. That's fine. If you want to stay and fight, go ahead. But I'm pretty sure if given the option of whether Ukrainians would prefer to safely evacuate with their family members to the United States of America or anywhere else versus, uh, versus staying in Ukraine and being forced to fucking fight, I'm pretty sure they would take the, the first option. To both of them with Polyakova helping to translate. Katya, how long have you been here in Tijuana? How did you get here? Where were you before? I don't understand people leaving their country to fight abroad, but I do understand people wanting to fight for their literal home city, as you've stated multiple times on your streams. Living or steering people would rather be home than in Germany, US, UK, or whatever. Wait, what? 
but they all but if given the option of of fucking being able to safely evacuate i'm pretty sure they would rather live in fucking europe what are you talking about not while there's a war going on what do you mean forcible conscription is is insane 90 percent of my ukrainian friends in au are against zelensky yes zelensky was not actually a, a popular figure before this war uh obviously uh the invasion has changed that but his popularity was nowhere near the 70 percent uh, uh vote tally that he captured uh in the original voting that occurred he was at like 20 percent or, or 28 percent or something he was dude he was also corrupt like he, he's a fucking politician you know what i mean I, I people like literally think that Zelensky's a fucking uh hero across the board and was like this this infallible you know uncorruptible object the reason why the reason why he wasn't popular was because he was also fucking corrupt none of this justifies the war obviously which is something i have to repeat over and over again because there's so many fucking idiots but you don't have to be a fucking saint to be a good leader during a time of war as long as he is uh as long as he bargains through this and actually uh does the appropriate negotiations to protect the lives of his uh, citizens Poroshenko's being judged for high treason yet he comes back like a hero dog Poroshenko was being judged for high treason for literally fucking trading coal with the with the Donbass region okay so he was trading coal with the separatists like don't get me started on fucking pre uh, like pre invasion ukrainian laws and attitudes okay please because then people are going to say what are you sympathizing with russia no i'm not марта тяжело билетов не было и рейс постоянно откладывали и в общем была такая немножко гнетущая обстановка Yarina and her husband Evgeny have opposed Russian President Vladimir Putin for years. They left Russia after Evgeny was arrested for protesting the war. Вот и он пропадал со связи, нам было очень страшно. Дети спрашивали, где папа. Потом он приехал домой в 11 часов вечера. Мы его очень ждали. Мы были И вот он э, сказал, что его не отпускали из полиции, пока он не подпишет документ, э, что он обязан явиться в отдел по экстремизму. И что там уже решат, э, экстремист он или нет. How did you decide to come here specifically? Мы слышали, что американцы не отдают. Do you have family in the United States or friends, contacts? Никому нет. No, buddy. Вообще никому Not нет. Никого не знаю. No. You know what? <laughs> a lot of people here don't have anybody and I think we all will be a big family now in the United States. What about you? Do you have friends or family in the United States? I have family in uh, Oxnard. In Oxnard, California. So just, just here. A few just miles up that way. Two steps yeah. to get home, but not a lot. Can you tell me what's been happening since you guys arrived here? at the border what what's been your experience uh i came i came like for six days ago and uh for several days there was no chances to get to the border because they just stopped us and uh, repeat and repeat and repeat about title 42 and cdc sorry we don't have help for you you can find how ho uh, help in mexico if you want and just turn us around some context to understand what's happening. Under American law, any person can present themselves at the border and request asylum. However, the Trump administration, over the course of many years, chipped away at and then eventually basically shut down the asylum system at the border. The final blow was something known as Title 42. Title 42 is a pandemic measure that allows customs... And yeah, by the way, fuck Joe, Bar uh, Tr fuck Joe Brandon for, t uh, continuing, for continuing this shit. Pre-invasion, the Wagner Group and Russian Spetsnaz are not from Donbass or Crimea. They started the invasion in 2014 until now. Yeah, that's why uh, fucking Zelensky uh, had assets in, in, you know, overseas offshore accounts because of fucking Wagner and because of the, uh, the, the green men in Donbass. You're right. That's really cool. Yeah. Dude, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? What are you... ...in border protection to turn away asylum seekers without hearing their claims. The policy has no real basis in public health, but President Biden kept it in place anyway. And that's why CBP initially turned away people fleeing Ukraine. Yeah. 
Fuck then it started brain. accepting small numbers of Ukrainians, but not Russians. CBP says also it's making case-by-case case case exceptions, but wouldn't explain on what grounds. How did you feel fleeing Ukraine because of an invasion by the Russian state and encountering Russian people here? How does all of this make you feel? I have a lot of friends from Russia and my father was from Russia and my aunt from Russia. So I know that people, they're not. That's that's so fucking crazy that like straight up I, like, look, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy that that we are allowing Ukrainians in. It's insane that we're not allowing Russians in. And it's insane that we haven't allowed straight up black and brown people uh, in using Title 42. Like, it took Ukrainians en masse coming into America from Mexico to decide to abolish Title 42. So this is what we mean when we say America is still a white supremacist country. Very much so, okay? This is what this is. Incredible, dude. In fucking credible. Straight the fuck up. Incredible. Like, they're not even hiding it. They don't even give a shit. Like, they, there's no reason to hide it. They're just like, yeah, this is us, baby. Us. USA. That's the same reason why you're fucking hearing from... Europe as well. Oh, we had no... The very same countries that were, like, literally willing to militarize against, like, fucking Syrian refugees and brown refugees and shit are now, like, showing us that, no, they did actually have the capabilities. Things that we said for so many years about Syrian refugees, about how they could easily take these uh, numbers of Syrian refugees, but they refused to do so. They have now shown, they have now proven that they did have the capability. They just refused to do so because they were fucking brown. At least America is morally consistent with how abhorrent it behaves. And the dumbass fucking liberals literally will fucking turn around and say things like, well, have you looked at a map? Ukraine is so far from America. It's like, you're a fucking idiot. You think they don't have the means? You think we can't send them a plane? Have you heard of planes? I don't know if you know this. How do you think they're reaching fucking France, dude? Okay, trains. Fine. Now Hassan Abi's for sending planes. Of course I'm for sending planes. Passenger planes. They're mostly women and children. Syrian or 80% male. Not debating against. There's a deal. Dude, that's fucking bullshit. The fuck does that mean, dude? First of all, that's not true. You just literally used a made-up fucking statistic from some reactionary uh, toilet paper uh, newspaper. And even if that's the case, it's literally not true. But even if that was the case, let's say 80% of the Syrian images coming in are men. What are they, not human? Like, what, what kind of fucking take is that, dude? Just say you're worried because you think they're fucking rapists, okay? Because that is what the newspaper is trying to imply. They're saying it's all men that want to come and fuck our wives and rape them. Because that is racist, white supremacist bullshit, okay? There you go. I'll say it for you. He's not entirely wrong. This is awkward. Who fucking Cares. They're still human beings. Why is that fucking awkward? Are you saying that this is somehow different? Across the board, if you look at the entirety of it, if you look at the entirety of the, the conflict, the distribution is a little bit more even. No, no, you're missing my point. Awkward because you flipped at him like that. The idea that like men don't deserve. Dude, you literally heard me. You literally heard me say, I want the Ukrainian men to be able to get out. Okay? Like, straight up, you heard me say, I want the Ukrainian men to be able to get out of that conflict zone and be able to come to the United States and to come to um, European countries. And then you turned around and thought that this would be a good fucking way to deal with this. Okay? Like, this is, a, this is an actually good take. Oh, Jesus. Oh, here, here we go. I'm losing my mind. What is he saying? It's not about black, brown people and white people. These refugees are mostly women and children. They are Slavs. We have similar culture, religion. You don't, you don't, you don't. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Russians and Ukrainians have more similarities in their culture and they're fucking killing each other. Shut the fuck up than you do. Poland took the most amount of refugees. What the fuck are you talking about? Similar culture. We don't want black men from Syria. Oh my God, I should have just read the rest of it. Oh, that's so, oh shit, I didn't realize. It does not mean we are racist. Yeah, the least racist uh, Polak right here, dude. Nice. The, re the least racist Polish person. Holy fuck. Love that he said, I'm not racist. Uh, we just don't want black people in 
in our country. Listen to me. Polish people literally opened up their fucking doors in an actually incredible uh, and, and humane capacity to the Ukrainians, which they historically have fucking fought. Do you understand? Do you understand the fucking significance of that? Polish people literally opened their fucking straight up homes and doors to the Ukrainian refugees, okay? Which is a good thing overall. Especially considering that this guy says, oh, we have uh, less cultural, uh, you know, differences. Yeah, you also have a history of fucking murdering each other and, un and despising one another. I don't know if you know that about your own fucking history. It shows for small brain right-wingers of the Syrian refugees are willing to fight. And of course, in their view, they're all raping and drug dealing. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, Bandera didn't just kill Jews. He killed Poles too. Yep, straight up. It's, it's not people's fault, it's only... Do you think that you'll ever go back to Ukraine? And do you think that you'll ever go back to Russia? Как ты думаешь, сможем ли когда-то мы вернуться назад? Россия и Украина будут свободны. Russia and Ukraine will be safe. Я верю в это. And will be free. And we hope in for that. I've been covering this border for many years. Right? Many people from different parts of the world have been trying to come here, fleeing very difficult situations, violence, famine, for many years. It's very hard for people to get across this border. What do you think should happen, not just with the people from Russia and Ukraine, but with the people from other parts of the world as well? Who are trying to do the same thing that you are doing? I think that in your own planet, there is no place to get some boundaries and borders because it's silly and stupid. It no makes sense. People have to love each other and help each other. So, one family, two families, three families? Uh, first single, then a uh, family of five people, uh, one guy, uh, another one guy, one family Belarus. Uh, Four single, one family of five, one family of three? I didn't forget anyone. Another one single grandpa from Moscow. Russian? Russian, Moscow. So how many people have But this is also There's also part of the reason why people say like it's one nation, you know what I mean? It doesn't mean that they're actually one nation. They're two independent nations, but like they have fucking shared history. They have people that literally are on both sides of the fucking conflict. It's insane for Americans to try to uh, comprehend it, not one nation, one people. It's just oh god. I have gotten across since you've been here? Uh, not a lot. Maybe 20 people. Over how much time? Three days. 20 people in three days. And you're gonna sleep here until you get to the yes, other side? Yes, of course. We, we don't have another options. How long do you expect you'll have to wait? I hope that maybe this is my 
last night here, but nobody knows. Yup. They didn't let the Russian people in. I, and they're not letting any of the fucking brown people in anyway, you know? Georgians and Turks fought for centuries. Now Turkey is considered our closest ally. It's so bullshit when they say same religion and culture like it means anything. No, I mean, it's just annoying when I hear people say that about a fucking war that's happening between warring, uh, between neighboring countries that literally have like family members on both sides. It's like, it, it clearly doesn't matter. Like proximity and cultural affinity can literally change in times of war. It's just, you just don't want to let the Syrians in, so you're trying to justify it.